Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, just the man I wanted to see. Hello, Chief Deputy Gargir. What did you want to see me about? Rick, someone told me someone was running against you for the election. Is this true? Yes, it is true. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do if you don't get another term for office. Our reign of criminal terror upon the taxpayers of Palm Beach County will be over. No, it won't. We will still be able to commit crimes. We just won't have the badge and title of sheriff to hide behind anymore. What kind of crimes are we talking about, Rick? We can steal cans of cat food from Wendexi. If we get enough people, we can do one of those flash mobs. That sounds great, Rick. Who else would help out? Well, you have an entire criminal enterprise working here, don't you, Mike? I do indeed, old boy. I do indeed. Good morning, Sheriff Bradshaw. I'm here to shine your shoes. Hey, boy. Didn't I promote you? I was on the list, but no, I didn't get promoted. Sheriff Bradshaw, he's black. You don't promote black deputies, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. I don't like Negroes. Hey, boy. I'm in a meeting now, so come back after you wash my car. Oh, okay, Sheriff, sir. Great. They can help as they start getting fired from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. That's a great idea, Rick. Yes, it is. We can recruit others, too. I know Carol Vertigy would be willing to help. John Kazanjian from the PBA can be there to get violent and start a fight. Oscar Maturana and the list goes on. Who is Oscar Maturana? He is the deputy with the history of selling stolen merchandise and drugs. You then ordered a background investigator to hire him and put a yellow sticky note on top of his file telling HR to fast track his application. He was arrested soon after that when he pulled a gun in a nightclub when he was off duty. Oh yes. He would be swell. So would Brent Rabin, the Belglade Punisher and Howard Howell. The off-duty deputy who was DJing the party, got drunk and pulled a gun after deputies were forced to pepper spray him. Geez, Mike. We have this all planned out. But do you really think I'm going to lose this election? Rick, once the people find out how you have been ripping them off and how the state attorney's office has been sweeping your crime spree under the rug, you are probably going to lose. The people are going to find out about the secretaries making over $100,000 per year. All of the civilian take-home cars that cost them about $4 million per year. The $70,000 you spent on three barbecue grills and the gun you got caught stealing out of evidence. Boy, it is a good thing you exempted yourself from having to answer to the Ethics Commission. Yes. And don't forget about how I was using the county purchasing cart to take campaign contributors to the Orky Cherby Steakhouse. And the $13,000 I spent on guns to give away as gifts. Oh, yes. That was a great one, Rick. Oh, yes. There is one more thing to worry about. What would that be? Someone has come forward. Forward about what? They claim you are a sex addict and had a very long affair. It is all very juicy stuff sure to make the papers. Are you serious? Serious as a heart attack. If someone does run against you, all of the details are going to come out by some son of a bitch who is affiliated with PBSOTalk.com. From what I understand, he is saving that special kind of dirt for the election so he can see you get thrown out on your ass in shame. Jesus Christ, Mike. This is really bad. Yes it is. Really really bad, Rick.